Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, the northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we are going to talk about probably one of the most special vehicles we've had in an awful long time, a 1934 Packard Dietrich bodied convertible, four-door convertible sedan, beautiful car with the V12. Give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we are going to talk about one of the most special vehicles we've had in an awful long time, a 1934 Packard, Packard 12 is what they would call it, the convertible four-door convertible sedan and a Dietrich body. I'll tell you what, you're going to want to watch this video from start to finish because we are going to show you all the highlights, all the extra features and everything on this car. We'll even do a startup. You'll be able to watch the video and see all that stuff. So you're gonna to wanna to watch the entire thing from start to finish. Now you can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to our website where it'll also have all that information. It'll have the pricing. It'll also have access to our other almost 100 vehicles that are currently for sale at Ellingson Motor Cars. And our website being www.ellingson motorcars.com. Let's get into this one because I'll tell you what, uh, this is absolutely an, an astounding, beautiful car. I mean, look at this color combination is really special. It's metal green with mint green colors. And you know, everyone says, well, what color was available in 1934 in Packards? You know, when you were in this uh, category, you had lots of discretionary options available to you, if you will. You could almost get anything that you wanted. And there are certain options, of course, that come with these cars, but the V12 is just a truly remarkable engine. Just look at the pictures of the motor and just listen how nice and smooth this car actually runs. I mean, it is the epitome of the classic car world, 1934 Packard, probably one of the most sought after models in the world. And of course, a Dietrich custom bodied car is even rarer in that sense of the word. And you know, they made just but a handful of these. I mean, I can't remember the last time I ever even seen one of these. They are really, really special. You know, the chrome work on this car, the overall quality of the restoration is impeccable. I mean, it's not missing anything. Everything is here. I mean, there were a few options available in 1934, you know, obviously engine choices, but on a, on a Packard 12, you would have the wheel covers on the side mounts. Uh, it does have a special braking system, which is really unique, which I had to do a little research myself to figure out what it is, but it has a vacuum assist brake system. So in other words, if the lady was driving the car and she didn't want to push the brake pedal as hard, you were able to adjust it four different levels of doing it. I've never heard of such a thing, but you know, innovations were some of the things that they were coming up with at all times. But yes, you've got a V12 engine. It's got a beautiful, you know, detailing under the hood. Uh, you know, it's a 445, you know, a cubic inch engine, lots of horsepower. Move this car, lots and lots of weight to this car. No, I forgot one other little option. Look at this, they of course have the outside spotlights. And it was a, what did they have? The, that was for most of the time looking at street signs and looking at houses or whatever. If you were going someplace, you use that to help uh, guide. They didn't have as many street lights in the 1930s as they do today. But you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, this car was impeccable with everything that was done to it. Uh, beautiful, I mean, I, I can't tell you how beautiful those wheels and tires look with the full cloisonne Packard 12 emblem right in the middle in the hubcap. But the chrome, I mean, beautiful extra set of accessory fog lamps in the front, turn signals, the beveled glass is one of the clearest things that you can see in a 1934 Packard. And of course, the Comorant hood ornament. I mean, hood ornaments were really, really special back in the day. Yeah, you take a look at the inside of this car. I mean, it's all leather. I mean, it actually even has one other option, which was a factory radio in 1934. Only AM stations, of course. There was no such thing as FM stations back in that day. But if you take a look at the inside of this car, exceptionally well done with the matching carpets, the canvas top. 
I mean, it does even have, you know, the roll-up windows, which is really nice. The other thing is we always joke about this stuff when someone has a car like, does the owner of this car drive this car? Chances are they probably had a chauffeur, and in order to keep your privacy in the back seat, it even has the roll-up divider window, which is really, really neat to think about and talk about leg room in the back. I mean, you've got the leg room, you've got the foot rest. I mean, it is just really, really uh, spacious and very, very, very custom, if you will. Now, there's one really interesting note that I want to tell you about on this particular car is we have history going back to 1934. We have some paperwork that shows who the original owner was. There is one other thing that they did on the V12s. They wanted to break your motor in. Well, guess what? Here I have, don't have props often, but this is a certificate of approval from the Packard Proving Gowns. We actually have the certificate that they took this car out, this engine, and went out on a proving ground and put 250 miles on it just to break the motor in. So when you got your new Packard like this with the 12, it was ready to go. There were no bugs, not that there were any problems or whatever, but they just wanted it to be absolutely ready to go to the nth degree. I mean, that's really, really something special. And like I say, we have a copy of that and everything, which is really neat. Plus we have going forward, it has you know more history of who did the work and who owned the car. Several, one individual I believe had the car almost 60 years. I mean, these kind of things were really special cars in 34 and they're really special in this day and age. You just don't see very many of these around. Now you're gonna wanna, you can check out Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate that very much. You have all the information on this car, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, some of the cars we've sold in the past as well. So, you know, check those out if you have time to peruse the internet. You know, and these days they really didn't have a lot of room inside. They didn't really have a trunk to, per se. So that's what's on the back of the car. We have a trunk and a luggage rack. That's how you traveled back in 1934 and whatnot. And it's uh, really a nice, nice uh, addition to have that with the car as well. You know, the wide whites, I mean, this car was a massive car. I mean, those are big, big bumpers. I mean, this is just one of those cars. And everyone looks at the side vents and say, what were those? Well, that's how you got some cooling when you, in the summertime, you'd open those side vents on the sides and that helps you keep the engine cool when you're going. This was, as you can well imagine, a frame off restoration. Someone really took the effort, really did everything nice. I mean, you have the real wood graining, you have beautiful gauges and a, a, a cluster of instruments that was really complete in this car. You've got oil pressure, you've got an amp gauge, you've got the speedometer, you got a temperature, you have all that stuff right at your fingertips, which is really, really nice. Does have the uh, factory air conditioning that they had in 1934, the cowl vent that you just push open, whatever. This is a convertible, probably not quite so critical as it was back in the day with the hard tops or I mean the, the enclosed cars. But yeah, the leather interior in this car is just spectacularly nice. Very, very well done, glass back window. You know, it's just one of those cars that, you know, a lot of times people can come and look at our website and study the car and whatever. This is one that probably warrants coming to really come and take a look at. I mean, if you want to really get an appreciation for the quality of this car, come on down. We'd love to have you come and look at it personally. Now we are open Monday through Friday from 10 until five and Saturdays 10 to four as well. So if you're like me, this is one of those cars I would have to come and take a look at. I mean, it's just one of those, one of those things that I just really, really like. This is really a neat deal. You even have a little light there for the running boards when you open the door. It's just another one of those innovations that uh, Packard was known for. Basically, they were the yardstick by which all the classic cars were compared to. You know, ask the man who owns one. This is really one of those cars that would, uh, be the uh, premier car in anyone's collection, be it your first one or your 100th. Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, we can help you find that classic you're looking for. Give us a call. We can answer any questions on this car or any of our others at 763-428-7337. We'd be happy to do that. We can also help you find someone who can help with financing or shipping. We ship cars all over the world, so never a problem. We are here to uh, help our friends that are collector car aficionados, if you will, and we've been doing it for almost 30 years. So 
got a little bit of experience. Well, if you're really looking for that special, special car that has everything you could ever imagine in terms of rarity, a beautiful color, beautiful restoration, you know, history. I mean, that's really a neat thing. I have never had seen the Packard Proving Ground Certificate. Very, very neat. But you can look and find all that stuff on our website as well. Remember, it's EllingsonMotorCars.com here in Rogers, Minnesota. Love to see you. Thanks again for visiting and we will see you next time. Thank you.